Okay, so today I'm going to show you a video on downloading, installing, and connecting with TeamTalk from Bearware.dk. We use TeamTalk for a Zoom replacement for our amateur radio club meetings and for our Aries meetings. Uh, we're doing it through our art and mesh that we're setting up. So the first thing you'll do is you go to Chrome or whatever your browser of choice is. Um, I'm going to pause this for a second while I'm waiting on Chrome to open up and I'm also going to switch wireless cards. Okay, so I switched from the Arden Mesh to my home router. That way I can show you accessing from outside first. All right. So you're going to go to www.bearware.dk. And you want TeamTalk 5. Now, if you use a screen reader or something like that, they have an accessibility compatible one right here. But what I found is that you can install that from this also. So, at least it's an option. So, you go to download over here. You'll have to scroll it down a little bit. Now, Windows has theirs. Mac has theirs. I saw in their articles they have an issue with the Mac one, but your mileage may vary. Uh, you got one for Linux. You've got one for Raspberry Pi. What I found is you have to right-click on the file and go to Save Link As. And it should prompt. There we go. So you can put it in your desktop, put it in downloads, wherever you want to put it. Um, I put everything in downloads, so that works. Okay. Now, here that said this file cannot be downloaded securely, and that said discard. You had to hit this up arrow and choose keep, but for whatever reason, it didn't do it on this. So while I'm at this, I'm going to do it in Edge because I want to see if it will uh, force it there. I'm going to pause this until Edge opens. Okay, so I have Edge opened up. I want to see if it will do it there. Uh, if you left click on it and it works, great. If you don't, then right click, go to save as. Okay, so it's working for me on this. It may have been my browser on the other window. But anyways, either way, it'll say, like, this cannot be downloaded securely. Discard. So then you just choose keep. You have to click the right arrow, uh, up arrow, and choose keep. All right, so we have it downloaded. I'm going to install it.
go ahead and close Chrome now that I've started the installer. Okay, if you don't see it, I got prompted with the user account control. Do I want to allow the app to make changes? Click yes. Go ahead and accept the agreement. Uh, read it carefully. It's freeware. We're just telling you the, what you can do and can't do with it. You can't reverse the engineer it and get the source code. You can't make your own version of it. Okay. Go ahead and click next. Now, Team Talk client is what 90% of you will install. If you want to run a server, you can choose to run a server. If you need the accessibility features or compatibility, you can choose that. So we'll leave it at Team Talk client. So you go ahead and click next. Uh, I always tell it to create a desktop shortcut so I don't have to fight with the start menu. I don't do quick launch because it doesn't work on Windows 10. Okay, leave launch team talk checked. That way you don't have to find it. Right there it is. There's the icon. You're able to log in in multiple places with your username. Click yes to this. You're going to get prompted by UIC probably. That way you can do that. First and foremost, come up here to client. Come to preferences. So the way you get to slash zero is if you have a number pad on the right side of your keyboard, you press the right alt key and then you type on the number pad 0216. If you do not have the number pad, if you look at your keyboard, you'll see little blue numbers on like your uh, U-I-O-J-K-L-M and the, le the comma or period. You hold the right alt key down, you press your function key, the FN key, and then you type in the 0216 on that, and then you let, let the keys go and it puts it in. Okay, so you can make whatever name you want. You can be male, female, you can be neutral, whatever you want to do. If you register, you can set up your ID, but you don't have to do that for us. The other thing you might do is if you have a video camera, you can come here and get that set up. You can come here and you can get your sound set up. You can test your sound, get all that set up before you uh, go in. Go ahead and click OK. I don't know if you heard that, but... Okay, so this is your connect button, and you can also do it here also as well. You're going to type, if you're outside, you're going to type 0 pcd arden mesh dot org. That was in the email I sent out. Leave this alone. You're going to put in your username that I send you. And the password I sent you. And then you're going to click connect. And I heard it connecting on my end in there. This is what you'll see when you connect. You're on the channel, the top level. You can go in root, you can go in meetings, just double click on it. Or you can go up here, you can click on
any of the uh oh that one should have been outside i'll have to move that out okay if you go into meetings you can see scott's ham shack he's running video audio will be piped through uh audio will be in the chat and this will be text-based video you can see Scott's desktop. You want to get his desktop to where it's readable, you click on it, like I did. You click this button, and it pops it out. Now Scott's only showing the client application. You can resize this a little bit, make it a little bit easier to see. And then when you're done, Go ahead and close that, and it closes it out. Okay. Disconnect, you just click that again. Okay. So, I'm going to pause again for a second. And I'm back. So, if you're on the mesh network, click on connect. We're going to try this. You can either do AC0 EC team talk dot local dot mesh. We'll see if that'll work. Okay, so that worked for me, but I'm also on the uh, right on the router, so it may not work for you. If it does not work for you, You're going to put in 10.214.240.40, click connect, and you are on. One way or another, you should be able to get on, whether you're inside the mesh, outside the mesh. So, that is how to use TeamTalk. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. If you have my phone number, call me. Thanks.